NVIDIA has just released the craziest update I have seen for AI text to video generation. The paper is called Align Your Latents, High Resolution Video Synthesis with Latent Diffusion Models. And you can see some of the people behind this. Now let's take a look at how insane this update is. So take a look at one of their example videos they have created. It is a looking like a Star Wars stormtrooper riding a bicycle in some city. And as of the way it looks, it looks like he's actually doing a drifting the bicycle. And as you can see, there is the slight shutterstock watermark, which is visible right in this section right here. So it looks like for this specific video they trained it on, it was utilizing a shutterstock video. And as we've seen from previous examples of other text to video AI companies, they also have used some shutterstock videos to train their data. And you can see just from the realism, this looks significantly better than what I've seen from previous companies attempts. Now, obviously we can tell the legs are a little, look a little distorted and then also the panning and everything. But let's take a look at another example so you can see how insane this is. So here is one example and this might be the clearest video I have seen of Bigfoot walking in the woods. I'm sure if you obviously think Bigfoot is real or not, you've seen some of those videos where they say they seen Bigfoot in the woods and it's always some super blurry or the video is super far away and it's almost impossible to identify it. Well, you can see here, obviously this is AI generated, this is not real, but you get the picture. The woods, the quality obviously isn't 100% perfect, but if they were to make this a video that was a farther distance away, maybe even darker at nighttime, it's harder to see, it'd be fairly close to some of the videos I've seen already on the internet. So that leads to a lot of more dangerous, riskier stuff, which I'll talk about later in the video. But just seeing it generate this creature thing moving through the woods, walking almost fairly properly like a normal human, and doesn't have any sort of like shutterstock watermark, I think that's already levels above the competition. Now here's another example, something that's you probably would never really think of even seeing in real life, but basically the stormtrooper vacuuming beach, I guess, <laughs> the beach sand, but that's not the main focus that I'm actually looking at this particular example. What I'm noticing that is really, really impressive is the ocean waves in the background, how realistic it looks when it splashes onto the beach, and it almost looks legitimately realistic besides the stormtrooper and then obviously the sand and some of the particles the wave motion in this particular video even on the left side of the screen looks extremely accurate quality isn't the best but this could just be the way i'm viewing it but just imagine how crazy this is going to get in the next few months now here is another one this one's a little scarier but the person you can see looks like he has some sort of backpack and changes outfits mid walk. But the main thing it looks like that I'm noticing from just patterns of these videos is that it's significantly better at generating environments. So this forest woods with this foggy scene in the sun looks fairly decent. Not gonna lie, this looks fairly good. We do notice the shutterstock watermark though in the middle. But the person, it seems like for human or any sort of movement type character, the AI is still not at that level. But just comparing this to just some other AI video generations I've seen, this is so much better quality than anything in the market to date. Now, let's deep dive into the behind the scenes to see exactly what is going on. So here from their research, they call this latent diffusion models, short for LDMs. And that allows them to create high quality images, which also at the same time avoids the excess compute demands by training a diffusion model in a compressed lower dimensional latent space. So in short, high quality, less computing demands. Now here is a visual and you can see here there are 
looks like six different little points that they have in the little graph. And basically, once it resets, I'll show you. It starts off before the temporal butterfly tuning. They have different batch samples, which are all independent. And then afterwards, they align the samples to form a video sequence. And this also implies the uh, LDM too. So you can see in the bottom, it starts off with different samples, aka different videos, and then they have it to where it makes it to essentially a video, which you can see a little bear playing a guitar. Now let's look at some more examples on how crazy this stuff is. So again, here is another example. However, one thing I didn't specify in the beginning was the resolution. So at first glance, this video, bear, stuffed animal playing a guitar, and it says clearly in the text prompt, it's high definition 4K. Now our definition of 4K today might be something that's crystal clear and looks very, very out of this world. This can come off as a lower quality video just because of the way the motions are of the animal, but based off of their statement, it is a 4K video. So think about that, 4K AI generated videos and once they start to make it even more realistic, that's going to be crazy. Now here, they even have the training with Dream Booth. So they have training images for Dream Booth. So they have this cat right here. These are five images. And let's take a look at the examples. So they have this cat. Looks little, movements aren't realistic, but the fact that it could use the image to form a video, this one looks a little bit better. Here we have another one, and this looks like some building. And basically you can see here, they put this building next to the Eiffel Tower. And then also another one, waves crashing. So like I said, the wave part that they managed to get looks really good. Here we have Kermit the Prog, and then also we have this little tea. So let me see this teapot, see how it does. And yeah, look at how crazy it managed to put this teapot with these fairly not crazy high quality images. And this one, top of a building in New York City, this is actually pretty crazy as well. Now, this next thing I'm about to show you will blow your mind. This one is the craziest thing I've seen so far, and it's driving scene AI generated. So every single dashboard video you're about to see in the next few years, you might not be able to tell if it's real or fake. So that could be fairly bad or good, I don't know, but just look at this. So these are all sections of the AI video examples and they have this five minute long video. I tried to play it, but my computer, which I don't know, wasn't working. But just look at this, look at this. Tell me that does not look realistic right there. Car pass, okay, maybe, maybe that last part, but the beginning, have you ever seen dashboard footage? I mean, hey, this is another one, this one's at nighttime, so maybe it's be a little bit more, it'd be easier to get, but you, see, you can see still the cars, you can see the brake lights came on, the fog from the uh, the lights, even this one right here. Now this one, this one probably I can tell clearly based off the way the shadows and the lighting, it doesn't look as realistic, but still, look at this, These all these trees generated, and then this one, look like this one, so this one looks like a more like sunlight, Sunday shadows shadows still need some work and the formation of each frame, but it's Crazy how much more advanced it is now now this example. This is the one where it can get a little scary because In short what they did is they took a frame with a specific set of cars in position and Basically they started the video at this particular frame. So look look on the left You see these cars here and then what they did is literally when I hit play you'll see it starts right at that frame. So in terms of levels above, think of this in the next like five years, how realistic it's gonna be. And then for example, someone gets in a car accident and then they just like insert this, like it's gonna be so complicated at that point. I don't know really how this part particularly was the point of this, but in terms of realism versus fake AI videos, it's going to be almost impossible to decide for the next few years. Now this one, they call this multi-model driving scenario prediction. So let's take a look and see exactly what is happening. And right now, what it's showcasing is different types of essentially scenarios in this video. And you can tell basically, if you didn't really notice, 
certain frames have like a bridge on top some have like a green sign so if you find the stage obviously you know what these look like and then other places have just straight up nothing so it's literally recreating cities <laughs> like it's, it's literally recreating a city layout dimensions just based off of this ai so it could, you could be in any city anytime this could be insane and then here is a nighttime view so you can see some different scenarios so you can see some cars are passing by while some other ones are just normal driving here but again this could be very interesting for forecasting future predictions in like self-driving cars for example and we have these other examples here is a much longer video and it's still 4k and the bear is <laughs> let's loop this video actually this one looks pretty funny and basically the bear's walking through a city now if you watch some movies it looks literally like some movie scenes where like time fuses or some of the superhero movies you've seen recently where they have the superpower that the, the whole entire city changes it's kind of like that except this is supposed to be just a bear walking down off uh, fifth avenue and now let's take a look at this example and basically you just wave crashing on a lighthouse and i like to notice the patterns in these videos and so far this is the third example i believe where the waves are doing ridiculously accurate movements obviously the way the um, the sequence is obviously look like, some waves are going left others going right but just the fact that it can replicate a wave think about this in the video games for example or just in any sort of scenario where you need water that is already very impressive so what do you think about nvidia's high quality video ai generator share your thoughts in the comments below and like and subscribe to see the latest updates in the ai space